Hello, welcome back, student, to design and analysis of algorithm subject. In the last class, we saw the Prim's algorithm. How to solve the Prim's algorithm with the help of greedy method. This is a type of greedy method, uh, and it is a part of a minimum cost spanning tree. So, in today's lecture, we are going to see single source shortest path problem okay uh, single source shortest prop uh, shortest path problem is like from single destination from your uh, single destination take the example of hyderabad if you want to go from hyderabad to any other state like uh, delhi mumbai maharashtra uh, uh, Karnataka if you want to go from uh, Hyderabad means Telangana so for that reason our source will be single source like from Hyderabad Telangana and you can go to anywhere okay then I will show you the example and you will easily understand that okay so single source shortest path problem in this graph theory the shortest path problem is a problem to find between two vertices okay or no example okay this is one city a b and here is okay this three are there if I go from here, example is 4. The weight, if I go, this is a single source from A, I need to go to C as well as B. Okay. And here, 1 and here is 1. So, if I go directly from A to C, it the cost means the weight is 4. So, here, a to C, the weight is 4. Okay. If I go to C through B, A to B is 1, and from B to C is 1, what will be the total cost reaching from A to C via B is 2. Okay. That is 2. So this is less. If you visit the more number of state or more number of vertices, no problem, but your weight should be less. Okay. This weight you can consider as a distance. You can consider as a distance. Okay. If you want to go from A to C, the distance is 4 km. Example, if you go from A to B and B to C, then your cost will be 1, 1. The total distance is 2 km. So, we need to find with this single source shortest path from here, from the single source to reach all the vertices. And what will be the weight? You need to check that. And that should be minimum. That should be minimum. Okay. So, what it is written here? The graph shortest path problem is a problem of finding path between two vertices or nodes in a graph such that the sum of the weights of constituent edges is minimized. Okay, the problem of finding the shortest path problem between two intersection on a road map. The graph vertices corresponding to intersection and the edges correspond to road segment each weighed by the length of the road segment may be modeled by a special case of a shortest path problem is a graph with the help of graph you can solve this problem single source shortest path problem you can solve with the help of graph and you need to follow the greedy method you need to find the greedy method okay so here the vertices is v 
to all other vertices in the graph. Here, like if if we take the real time example, the shortest path algorithm is applied to automatically find directions between physical locations such as driving direction on web mapping, website like Google Map. Okay, for this problem, the time complexity is order of n square. Okay, what is the time complexity of single source shortest path problem is order of n square. Okay, so this is a simple method. We will take one graph example here and we will see. Okay, so here this is my graph. Okay, this is my graph, and in this I have. Uh, I will change the color. Here A B C F G H. Okay, this all eight vertices are here. Okay, and our single source. We are starting from A. We are starting from A. So I need to reach from A to all the vertices. Okay. First, we need to check the direct connection to A. What are the direct connection connection to A? From A to B and A to F. These are the direct connection connection. Okay. This is a direct connection. So here, which is a direct connection, we need to take it. Then if I want to go to H, then we have a multiple root. We have a multiple roots like A to B, B to E, E to H. I can come like this. A to B, B to C, C to H. I can come A to B, B to C, C to E, E to H. I can come like this. So there are so many ways, so many roots are there to reach destination means uh, from A to H. There are so many routes are there. But we need to select the best one. Which one is the shortest path? We need to find. This will be helpful for you in the Google map. Like to reach, the, uh, reach to your destination, there is a number of routes are there. Which one is the best? You need to select. Okay. There are so many routes are here to reach H. We need to find the best solution. How to find the best solution? We will see here. Okay. So here in the above problem. Okay. Here A to B. We are taking A to B. Because this is a direct correction. And what is the weight? Weight is 2. Okay. Next. Next, in the next one, we are taking, this is we finished. In the next graph, in the next step, from A to F, from A to F, okay. This is a direct correction, connection, sorry. This is a direct connection. From A to B and A to C, we both completed, okay. A to B and here what we have done A to F. Now in the figure 3, in the figure 3, what we are doing A to G. How we can go to A to G first? A to B, the weight is 2. From B to G, the weight is 3. The total weight is 5. Okay, is there any possibilities A to F, then F to G, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 is lesser than 5. So, we need to select, okay, we need to select this row. From A to G, from A to G, I am using the F. I am not using the B. Why? Because here 
to reaching from there to here it is taking pi and from f y wa f i am getting 4 this is a less because of that i am selecting a to f f to okay so how many vertices are here two d and f this is a single source from reaching one vertex to another vertex node a to f f to okay this is a to g we are going viva f next here a to h i need to reach h you can go to anywhere like uh, b e c e anyone but you can take any uh, like after g you can take uh, d or e c h anything but which one is nearest you can take is up to you so here from a to f if i want to go to a to h then f to g then g to h the total is pi the total is pi you can reach to h there are so many ways from a to b b to e e to h okay there are so many ways but here what will be the cost 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 2 9 but we are getting the best answer is a 5 okay so we select it a to h next next is how many edges we completed a 1 3 4 we completed 4 vertices okay and b also sorry 5 and remaining d e c so what we are doing now here we are doing doing a to d how to reach a to d okay if i come from a to f is 3 and if i go from f to d 7 we need to check the another way is there any other way okay a to b is 2 a to b is 2 and b to g is 3 by and g to 2 is 7 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7 it's taking 7 if i come from b and g if i come from a to f is 3 then f to g is 1 and g to d is 6 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 is 3 plus 3 is 6 so if i go as i showed you in the top in in this example in this example directly i can go to c but if i come from a from a to b b to c then the cost is less so in that way you can visit to number of edges no problem but the cost of that graph should be less okay if i go from a to f f to d only f is there in the middle of a and d but here from a to f f to g g to d from in the middle of a to d is f and g two vertices are there but the cost is less okay so we need to find the less cost so this is a to d okay a to d so whatever we are doing here like a f g d what will be the total cost six and how many edges so, uh, one two three how many edges one two three we need to make a table also for this i will show after finishing this graph this is very easy okay next here uh, 
A to E. How many we completed? We completed A, B, D, F, G, H. Now we need to go with E, or you can go with C. So I am going with E. A to B and B to E. If I come like this, the cost is six. The cost is six. Okay. A to D, D to E. Total cost is six. Okay. A to E is total cost is six. And the last one is remaining C. From A to two, A to B is two. B to C is five. Five, six, seven. Okay. If I come like this, from two to four is six. Six plus two is eight. It is increasing. Okay. I can come like this also. A to F three, four, five. Five plus four nine. It is increasing. So now, what is the total cost for here? Seven. A to so in this graph. In this, we have taken this graph and we completed step by step A to B, A to F, A to G, A to H, A to D, A to E, and A to C. You can see A is common in all the steps. Why? Because the and this is single source shortest path problem. From the single source, we need to find the solution for this problem. So whatever we have done here, okay, this is Distras algorithm. What is Distras algorithm? So here we make a table. Source destination. Source destination. Source destination. Okay, source, destination, and path, and length. How much length is there? So A and B. When I am going from A to B, from A to B, when I am going, when I am going A to B, what will be the cost? Is two. What will be the cost? Two. What is the length? Two. Okay. Next, A to F. When I am going to A to F, A to F, what is the cost? Three. Here, three. Okay. Three. Next. Next one is A to G. So, how many edges are here? One, two, three. A, F, G. So, what will be the total for this? A to G here 3 plus 1 total 4. Okay, so here we got the 4. Okay, A to H. What is the answer for A to H? D 4 and this is 5. 3 plus 1 plus 1. Five. What is the total cost? Five. Okay. Five. And how many edges? How the v? How it is going from first? It is going from A to F, then F to G, D to H. So we have to write whatever the vertices, whatever the nodes is needed to reach the destination. Like this. Now, next one is A to D. What is this A to D? A to F, F to G, D to A to F, F to G, G to D. And what is the total cost? Is 6. Total cost is 6. 3, 1, and Total cost is six. Okay. The same way A to E is six and A to C is seven. Okay. 
के ए बी ई ए बी सी ए बी ई ए बी सी टोटल कॉस्ट इज वी मेक अ टेबल ओके सो टू डेस्टिनेशन एंड द पाथ एंड द लेंथ दिस इज अ लेंथ नाउ वी नीड टू चेक हाउ मेनी एजेस आर देयर द सेकेंड टेबल द सेम वट एवर वी हैव डन हियर द सेम थिंग वी आर डनिंग बट हियर वी रोड द लेंथ वट इज अ वेट ऑफ दैट एज वट इज अ वेट ऑफ दैट एज वी वर राइटिंग इन दिस टेबल नाउ वी नीड टू राइट इन दिस टेबल नंबर ऑफ एजेस हाउ मेनी एजेस नीडेड टू रीच फ्रॉम सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन ओके सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन इज ए B. So only one. Directly you are reaching to F B. Here F is directly you are reaching to F only one. And here you are going via F. F and T. These are the two edges. How many? Two edges. Edge is this. This is edge one. okay edge is connection between the two vertices or two nodes that is called edge and how many edges are here is two b and c are the edges to reach from a to c to reach from a to e how many edges b and e okay and a h 1 2 3 How many edges are there? One, two, three edges. A to D is F. D is three. Okay. So how many edges needed to complete our shortest path algorithm is fourteen. Fourteen. Three plus three, six. Six plus two, eight. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus two. Twelve, twelve plus one, thirteen. Thirteen plus one is fourteen. Okay, so this is a graphical representation of the single source shortest path problem. Okay, and what is the time complexity for it? The time complexity is order of n square, and you need to, you should not change your source. till you finish the problem like see a a a a a a so the source is not changing but the destination routes are changing okay this tras algorithm the algorithm used to find the shortest path from one given what is to other what is supposed to take so as just now i shown you the example so what the algorithm is using this tras algorithm T I J K S T R A Tras algorithm. Okay. So this is written notes for the single source shortest path problem. Okay, this is important, and this will be helpful for you for the further studies. Like if you go to M Tech or M E, there you will find the advanced algorithm. That this algorithm is most popular. Strass algorithm. Okay. Strass algorithm or single source shortest path problem is same. Same algorithm they are. Okay. so whenever we have a graph like this as we have done in the minimum cost spanning tree the krushgal algorithm and the prims algorithm the step 1 you should remove all the loops and parallel edges remove all the loops any edge that start and end with same vertices okay after removing the loop you need to remove the parallel edges and which one is a minimum you need to keep that okay
here some spelling mistake here it should be 10 okay here it should be 10 which one is the minimum you need to select okay so now we are ready to find the shortest path so for finding the shortest path first you need to apply these two steps removing the loops and removing the parallel edges between two vertices okay so this is about the single sword shortest path problem i hope you understand this okay we'll see you in the next class okay thank you very much and like and subscribe the channel